Yo, 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 welcome to Smallmouth Crush. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? We're playing in the snow. We're gonna go chase some big old smallmouth, some big old Susquehanna River smallies right out here. Alright, some people would say this is crazy, but for myself and the Susquehanna smallmouth guide himself, yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is awesome. It is. Freaking awesome. Nice. We are getting a little late start. It's no big deal. It's about noonish. Look at the view though, bro. Yeah, it's beautiful. Come on. I know it's beautiful, I told you. Imagine what it would have been like out here yesterday. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. This is Alex. What's up, man? Travis. Good to meet you, Travis. Nice to meet you, dude. So, Alex, you're what? St. Croix rep? Yeah, I'm the rep that for awesome. Pennsylvania, New okay. York, New Jersey, Ohio. Gotcha. Yeah. Love your rods. I've been using them for years. Great, man. And uh, I think we're going to put them to the test today. Yeah. For Hopefully. sure. Hopefully, we uh, put them some abuse to them. Right. Yeah, uh, fishing. Yeah. All right, guys. So, last time I was out here with Joe, we were fishing uh, back in August. It was August, had a great time, caught a lot of fish. I'm gonna link that video in the description below as well as the, at the end of this video, you guys can check that out. But um, we were in shorts last time, now we're hanging out in the snow. A little different, we do it all season. You guys can hop on. All right. So this might be the first smallmouth I catch of the year here. It's a good way to do it, man. Good Heck way to yeah. kick it off. Good way to start it off. Dude, we'll catch them. I don't know how many. I can never guarantee numbers, but... Right. I can guarantee a boat ride, at least. I can guarantee I'll catch a couple. Right. I don't know about you guys. What's the situation here? Well, we got a we got some a little bit of deeper water, okay. uh, and we got some submerged ledges running through the deeper water, and we're gonna try and fish on these ledges right along this whole stretch here, huh? Yeah, we ought, to, we ought to be able to find something in here. Okay. All right, guys. Since it is so cold here, one of the things I found that's gonna help keep your guides ice free is I've been applying this real snot right here. I just spray it on the uh, on the guides. You could use a little cloth or whatnot, and that'll just help the ice from, from freezing up. We had to do that big time this morning, earlier today. But my rod here, all I'm doing is, we're just using a seven foot, this is my seven foot medium, Legend St. Croix Legend Extreme. I'm throwing that in 10 pound braid, eight pound fluorocarbon. The first stop that Joe took us to, produced my first smallmouth bass of the year. Caught that on a blade bait. Awesome presentation when the water temps, uh, you know, 37, 38 degrees like it was today. Also found out, Alex found out first that this little area held some rough fish as well. Some carp, catfish, suckers. They were hanging out with us too, enjoying the party. Then we kind of took turns back and forth catching some bass, catching a carp.
Joe just lips him. He don't care. Hold on to him, boys. Back in the old sesky he goes. So I was like getting a little upset. I almost wanted to take a bite out of this thing. Joe wouldn't let me though, so I let him go nicely. But they were stacked. They were stacked. But then so were the smallies. You know, we ended up catching quite a few here. Decent fish for the Susquehanna River. Decent fish for 37 degree water temp. They were a lot more aggressive than I expected them to be. I think both Alex and myself caught our first smallmouth of the year. Now this one was real interesting. Alex caught in the mouth, Joe ended up snagging it. I'm trying to debate here who actually caught it. So after a couple hours, Alex had to go back, so we brought him back to the launch. And uh, Joe and I decided to head back out. We actually made a little run. We wanted to see if we can find a few other areas where some fish were holding. So as I'm editing this right now, I'm realizing that my GoPro Hero 5 sound sucked. We didn't pick up a lot of audio, unfortunately. A lot of really uh, cool things that happened even last year and on this trip. I'm just struggling with the software. I'm trying to, I'm doing updates. I don't understand why my external mic will not talk to the GoPro. So moving forward, I'm going to try to figure out something because I'm not having this again. I'm, I'm pretty frustrated. I'm going to be looking for a different way to record sound uh, on, these, uh, on this YouTube channel. You know, I, I, I realize it's an issue. A lot of times during the, during the footage, I'm recording, you know, test, test, test. Test, 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 test. Doing that all the time. And there was just so much good commentary and some really good educational things that we were talking about during this trip that it's real it's real frustrating to, to spend all that time yesterday out fishing with joe being able to pick his his brain and hopefully teach you guys a thing or two about catching smallmouth and we can't even get any re, you know recording any audio so i'm looking for something different moving forward here hopefully i can get that problem fixed uh before the next on the water video uh but in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoy uh, some of these small clips here that we put together for you. Good old Smalley, coming in, coming in, coming in hot, Boom! coming in hot. Dang! Dude, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's a good river smallmouth. It's not one of those Lake Ontario giants. Like it's not, do, but, but it's a nice Susquehanna River bass. Tell you what, this is the first time I've ever seen someone actually eat Mexican food on a boat while fishing. That's a first, Joe. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe what I just did. I'm gonna, I just caught a pretty good fish. I don't know if we got it on camera, but I put on, I don't even think Joe knows about this, but I put on a Hollywood hair jig, a bucktail jig with the Z-Man Hog Z on the back. I've been using Hollywood hair for a while. Hollywood hair jigs? It, yeah, dude. dude. Why? Really? What do you know about Hollywood hair jigs? I probably know something you don't know. What? Dude, check out my Hollywood hair jig stack. What you got? Check it out. What? Check it out, check it out. What is this? You don't have one of them. Dude. Come on. Dude. Look at that case. You gotta be somebody, I guess, to get one of them. What the heck's in here, bro? All the goodies? Hopefully not. Shut them. up. Dude. Look at that. Hide that one little baggie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. How'd you get hey, this, dude? You can show it. I don't know. You gotta call Josh up. Jeez. Hit him up. I thought. Uh, no. I thought I had the hookup. Pretty much. Uh, I don't throw hair jigs as much as I should, just because they're expensive. Right. And you know, you're talking. You can have two or three dollars in each jig. They work, dude. Uh, they do have. Especially this time of year. I have them for like. 
like uh, when I can't get them to bite anything else, I do exactly what you're doing. Right. Put a little Z-Man soft softness on the back, little little Z-Man delight. Heck yeah, dude. And uh, basically, if you can't catch them on a Hollywood hair jig with a little Z-Man finesse on the back, you're doing something wrong. I'm gonna get a bite right right well, soon it's here. It's not even that you're doing something wrong. It's just that if you can't get them to bite that, you might as well just go home. And right. Watch TV. Well, it didn't seem to really matter where we went today. There was fish stacked up everywhere. Caught quite a few. Most of these fish all came on soft plastics. So a lot of the, the uh, Z-Man baits. I was also throwing some tubes. Some Stingray soft plastic baits. And then, of course, the, uh, the blade bait. Blade bait works really, really good in deeper water, you know, five, six feet or deeper. A lot of times, these fish were in two feet of water. And so it's a little bit hard to work that blade bait properly in shallow water. But you can see, we had a blast. There was no shortage of fish catches today. So it didn't seem to matter where we went. Fish were all over that river. Surprisingly enough, two feet of water or less, how odd is that? I was really expecting, although, granted, there isn't a lot of deep water around. And the areas that do have deep water, of course, there's a lot of smallmouth that are utilizing those holes. But there's a lot of stretches where just a foot difference is going to be holding these fish. And I'll tell you what, it's just getting started, guys. I mean... Yes, it is spring, but this is the second snowfall uh, where I had to actually shovel this year, and um, you know it's been it's been a pretty cold late winter, early spring, no doubt. But to be able to catch fish like this under these conditions, I mean, it just goes to show how healthy the Susquehanna River is and how many big fish actually live there. So I would encourage you guys, if anyone's interested in doing some smallmouth fishing with a guide on the Susquehanna River, you know, we're just, just around the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area, I would definitely get a hold of Joe Raymond with uh, Susquehanna Smallmouth Guides. I'm going to have the link in the description as well, so you can check out his website, follow him on social media. The dude fishes like every day on the river. And he'll be able to show you how to have a great time, how to be successful, how to put all these fish in the boat, and offer you some of the tips and tricks that a lot of people don't get to see firsthand. So I'd highly recommend uh, booking a trip with Joe in the near future. So at this point, we're going to head around in. It's actually getting a little late. As good as ever. Dude, we rocked it. Yeah. You freaking rocked it, man. How the day started in the gas station parking lot when trying to fix my boat and trying to get rods and reels and everything rigged up and you were laughing. It worked out. You wouldn't have guessed we'd come out and whack them like that. No. I didn't know we were going to whack them like that either. Right. But yeah, we really got into them this afternoon. I bet we caught, I don't know, we probably caught 35 fish after he left. Yeah, easily. No lie. Dude, that was freaking awesome. Water temperature, but when we first started this morning, we had what, 38, 38 36. We yep. were fishing in 36 degree water. It seems like it's, there's a lot of, uh, it's not consistent the whole way across. It's, uh, we saw as, as low as, as 36 and we saw as high as 41, 42, so. Mm -hmm. But we made them eat. We caught some fish, it was pretty awesome. Yes, it was awesome. It's always awesome fishing with Joe. I'm looking forward to our next trip on the Susquehanna River. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do so now. Just hit the subscribe button, smash up them likes, 
In the comments below, let me know what your favorite type of baits for river smallmouth fishing. Share this video on social media if you could. It's going to help out. Smallmouth Crush is here to stay. I'm looking forward to making some more awesome videos. Hopefully we'll get that sound figured out real soon because it's getting old. And of course, as always, guys, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.